why do we even need to compare these two languages? As we all know, Java is a general purpose language and together with Python and JavaScript, it is one of the most widely used languages worldwide. Although it has not been yet challenged for the top spot, Kotlin has proven to be a formidable opponent in the Android development space. Google officially adopted Kotlin as its second official language for Android development in 2017, a year after the language's release in 2019. Kotlin was declared as the chosen programming language for Android applications at Google. As a result, this programming language experienced phenomenal growth. But what is Java? So James Gosling at Sun Microsystems developed Java, which was released in the year 1995. It is a general-purpose, object-oriented, open-source programming language. Java functions on virtually any device, operating system, and server because it is a multi-platform language. It can also run on any Java virtual machine because it is compiled to Byte. And what is Kotlin? Compared to Java, Kotlin is significantly more recent, having only been released in 2016. It is an open-source language that can operate on nearly any platform thanks to the JVM and the ability to compile code to bytecode. Additionally, Java-made libraries and frameworks can also be used in Kotlin projects. Now you could ask how the development of Kotlin affects Java. Now that we have some background, will Kotlin ever take its place? Well, that's not so simple to answer. Now there are a few divergent viewpoints on this issue. Now let's compare the two languages with respect to a few parameters. Firstly, we have null safety, then extension functions, then comes code, data classes, and lastly, functional programming. Firstly, we compare the two languages based on null safety. Java's infamous null pointer exceptions are known to be troublesome for giving developers major headaches. The purpose of null pointer exceptions is to give users the option of assigning a null value to any variable. But let's say users try to use an object reference that just so happens to be null. Java's null pointer exceptions come into play in that scenario and raise an exception that programmers must manage. In Kotlin, on the other hand, it is not feasible to give variables or objects default null values. Next comes extension functions. In contrast to Java, Kotlin enables developers to add new features to classes without necessarily having to inherit it from them. In Java, one must build a new class and inherit the parent class's function in order to increase the functionality of an existing class. In other words, it is not possible to use the extension function. Now let's talk about code. The fact that Kotlin requires significantly less code than Java is one of its main advantages. It is a highly compact language which lowers the possibility of making coding mistakes and makes the task of developers simpler. Next, we'll talk about the data classes. On one hand, while using Java, programmers must create fields or variables that will be used to hold the data. The truth is that these classes have zero functionality and are primarily designed to hold data. Kotlin, on the other hand, offers a simpler method for creating classes that can hold data by only putting the word data keyword in the class description. Our last parameter is functional programming. A declarative programming approach known as functional programming handles calculations based on mathematical functions. Kotlin combines functional and object-oriented programming. As a result, Kotlin, a statically typed language, may effectively express functions using a variety of function types. All in all to say that Kotlin currently seems to be the better choice. It is being used by plenty of businesses and developers and the language will probably keep expanding. Java is still a fantastic general purpose language though. It has been a popular language among Android users, so its replacement won't happen just away. And that's it for this video. Thank you.